Yo, 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 what is it? You already know what it is, man. This is your man, LaVon. Yo, just coming back one more again on this Faith Over Fear Friday, you dig? And today, I just want to give y'all a real quick, just a encouraging word, man, to exercise your faith in the area of love, you dig? And the reason why I say love is because there's a lot of times, man, we have love and we receive love, right? But then there's even more times when we ignore love, you know, especially when someone is good to us and they're giving to us and they're loving on us and they're providing and they're, you know, showing support. And, you know, we got a man start taking the love that's given to us and receive it and, you know, give it back because without love, man, we are dead people. Yo, I know we live in, a, in the information age, right? And everybody and their mama got a cell phone and everybody texts, you dig? Uh, people don't even really call no more like they used to back in the day when I was growing up and you didn't have all you had was a phone. So that's all you could do was call. So I understand the dynamics of texting. But yo, what I'm saying is if somebody is texting you, that means they're thinking about you. That means they're taking time out of their day to sit down and text you, convey to you their thoughts, their feelings, their fears, their triumphs, their goals, their admirations, their uh, dreams, their hopes. They're texting you. Whatever the conversation is about, they're taking time out to recognize you and text you. Don't take advantage of that. If somebody is calling you on the phone, that means they're taking time out of their day to call you, <laughs> to check on you. They want to hear your voice. They want to talk to you. You dig? Texting's not good enough. They want to actually hear so they can feel, so they can get a sense. They can gauge your tone, your demeanor, where you're at, your attitude, your character. You know what I'm saying? You can't get all of that from a text all the time. Sometimes you got to call and if somebody is wanting to call you, they're taking the time out of the day to call you, to talk to you. Recognize that. Be appreciative of that. You know how many people that live life and they don't receive a phone call? So if somebody's calling you, that means they care, man. One love, for real. Learn to be appreciative especially when you have love in your life, right? Because when you have someone in your life that's thinking about you, right? They call you, they text you. Um, they're concerned about your well-being. They're concerned about your, your health. Uh, they're concerned about your finances. You know, if they can support and pay a bill, they will. If they can support and buy some food, they will. If they can support and put some gas in your tank, they will. If they can support and encourage you and um, give you some words of wisdom, you know, if they listen to you when, when you're down and out and, and struggling and, and need a listening ear, that's the kind of person you better hold on to. Because if a person is loving you like that and you let them get away, that's your loss. So support is so key <laughs> in any kind of, you know, established relationship that you're going to have, right? But if someone is supporting you, that means they care about your goals. That means they care about you accomplishing whatever it is that you want to accomplish, right? If they support you, that means they're spending time supporting your causes, your goals. They're, they're spending money supporting whatever it is that you need support, right? No, no one is an island. No one can do anything by themselves. It, we all need each other. You dig? So when you got somebody in your life that's supporting you, they're encouraging you, they're pushing you, they're breaking bread with you, they're spending time with you, Man, you better hold on to that. Can't find that everywhere. Yo, this is Faith Over Fear Friday, right? So why not exercise your faith on this Friday 
and love on somebody. Show them you love them. Text them you love them. Call them and tell them you love them. Support them. Pray for them. You dig? There's nothing like a, a, a person supporting you with prayer. You know what I'm saying? Interceding on your behalf. You know what I'm saying? Encouraging you with the word of God. There's nothing like it. So when you have somebody supporting you and it's in your corner, hold on to that. Because it's hard to find support. It's hard to find people that want to text you, want to call you, want to support you. You dig? Got to hold on to that. Real talk. So, listen. In order not to take that L, <laughs> open your eyes, man. Start realizing what you have in your life. You dig? Especially if you have someone in your life that's loving on you. I don't care whether they're your, your spouse Maybe they're not your spouse. Maybe they're your boyfriend, girlfriend. Maybe they're not even involved in an intimate relationship. Maybe it's just somebody that really, you know, wants to see you succeed and have your back. There are people like that out in the world. You dig? So remember, man, when someone steps into your life and they're loving on you and they're not looking for nothing in return, you better hold on to them. You better keep them close because those are the type of people, man, that will have your back come hell or high water. You dig? Your man, LaVon, just coming to give you a quick power minute on this Faith Over Fear Friday, you dig? One love, and I'm out.